Well, the game is here, our final game, and it's senior night. Uh, I'm excited for my seniors who are graduating in the spring in May, Marnesia, Taylor, and DeAnthony. I wish y'all the best of luck, and thank you for cheering the ASU. This is the end of year six for me. And I will say this has been a really good season. This squad has really um, have come together and gelled. And what I really like about this team is that it was just Straight stress free and they're very self-sufficient. They were able to get a lot of things done, you know, without a lot of my help. But I was there to guide, but a lot of times they were able to put together stunts and put together cheers and chants. And that's what a college cheerleader should be. You should be able to put together things and, and, and handle things self-sufficient. Hello everybody, my name is Marnisha Nelson and I am a fourth year member um, of the team. This is actually my last game. I can't believe I've actually done four years. Um, because I've been doing it since I was five, so I'm really about getting old at this point. But I had an amazing four years, and this is just a very bittersweet moment. I might cry, so make sure you catch my kid. Hey guys, I'm Taylor. Um, this is my last home game. It was really bittersweet. I cried a lot, shed a few tears, but overall it was a really good experience. I started in 2016 and um, under Paige and Sierra and I've just learned so much coming into the program. I wish everybody luck on, and tryouts in the upcoming seasons. I'm definitely coming back, you know, to visit and stuff. Um, I love you all. Bye. What's up you all? Welcome to Horny Nation. Um, my name is DeAnthony Powell, you can call me Anthony for short. I'm a senior accounting major from Grove Hill, Alabama. Um, my two years on this team has been, I can't even think of a word of it, just being such a blessing, amazing, because coming from a small town and not being able to cheer or ever even thought about cheering, just being able to gain that opportunity and learn so much from Coach Greg, Coach Whitney, and my bestie, co-bestie, said. Um, this year has been phenomenal for my last year. Uh, it's a sad day, but happy day because I'm succeeding in the process. But um, this game is about to be turned lit. I came in a few minutes late, had to handle some business, but I'm on came in doing house hands and stuff, you know, showing out for the guys and stuff. So it's about to be great. I look forward to the uh, new guys and stuff coming in and um, trying to show more leadership for my last game. Uh, also, preparing for the um, previous game last Thursday. Uh, it was a good game for me, but not so good because I was kind of angry with the teams or whatever. I kind of um, get thrown off by referees and calling bad calls and stuff. So try, if you, I give uh, advice to other chilies that are coming in. Don't try to the referees take your joy away from the spirit of chilling because that happened to me a lot of times. But overall, it has been a fantastic time here with ASU cheerleaders, and I'm thankful. Peace. When I think about this season, you know, I've been here three years, and this is my third team, and I can honestly say this has been the best year. As far as talent, as far as football season, as far as basketball season, as far as attitudes, as far as just watching them grow, I really feel like this is the best cheer team that I've seen since I've been here over the past three years. And now looking at who we're losing, we got, you know, a few seniors leaving, a couple other people leaving, you know, it's their final season. We're losing some of our best athletes. When we think about Ashley, when you think about Dorian, when you think about Taylor, Marnesha, that's just to name those. They have been key players these past few seasons that I have been a part of the Alabama State University cheerleading program. And I truly hate to see them grow, but on the good end is we have so many athletes who are new and who are growing and who are going to be just as great as the Ashley, as the Dorian, as the Marnesha, as the Taylor. So I can't wait. When I think about Keandra and just seeing her come in and seeing where she's going to go, she's going to be an amazing amazing cheerleader. By the time she's on her fourth year, you know, I just know she'll be another morning show or even better. When I think about Sky, she's growing. I see growth in Simone, you know, Jakiria. You know, I don't want to just keep calling out names so I don't want to leave anybody out. But when I think about Amari, I mean, we got some great athletes and there's so much room for growth. And each year the team really does get better. Like, every year we build. 
and I just know that what we have now, what we have coming in the spring to try out, we're really going to have an even better season next year. But I'm really excited about this year because this has been like the most stress-free cheerleading season since I've been here. And they're a pleasure to be around, a pleasure to watch, and I hate to see some of them go. I don't like to watch them. Hi everybody, this is Ashley. This is Dorian. We just want to tell you about how the season went. This is our last official game. I don't know, it's kind of a bittersweet moment. Yeah. For me. Yeah, it's very bittersweet. Uh, I ain't crying. <laughs> he gonna cry in the car. But no. Yeah, but the season went good, y'all. Um, we had a lot of ups and we had a lot of downs. We had a lot of times when we grew as uh, not only people, but like as cheerleaders and as a family. So uh, that was that was a great thing. We have a lot of bonds now uh, that we are going to cherish forever. A lot of memories and laughs. Party yeah. <sighs> rockers in the house. <laughs> I will never forget that Amari had me. Um. Just like you said, I think the season went really good. There are some areas, of course, I felt like and wish that we could have progressed further in because I know we had the potential. But overall, I felt like the season went really good. I'm kind of happy that this is the last game because we kind of get our time now. But this is... This is it. Like we're not cheering no more after this. No more. So it's, that's well, the sad part. Like we we we're not trying out again. This is our last year. I say year. So you sure you're not trying out again? I'm sure. I don't think I have any more years left. But yeah. Uh, today I just hope that for well, this last one, I just hope that everybody has fun. I hope our energy levels are up and. I don't know, that's all I can say. Oh, like, wow, I hope we win too. Oh, yeah. Man, that's really good that's gonna be a real But as far as the cheerleaders, I just hope we get out there, good energy, have fun. We got the gold on today. My favorite uniform, his favorite uniform. So I feel really good. And I'm happy and sad at the same time. But I ain't gonna cry. It's very I'm thug. I'm not gonna cry. Um, this is the last game, so exciting, but it's like emotional too because like all our seniors is leaving. Um, overall, this was a great, great season. Um, the rookies showed out. Like this was the best class of rookies that we ever had, and I'm just so excited to be coming back and returning for my third year. So yeah, let's go stay. What's good? It's your boy Tong Tong. We had our last season game, last basketball game of the season. The season is ending, and I'm kind of excited because senior year next year, hopefully I'll make the squad again. Um, this season, football season, was a little iffy for me. I got injured like the third game in, but, yeah. But I'm going to be back, better than ever, better than I was when I first started, when I first finished, when I did anything that went right, but I'm going to be better, and I'm going to be back. I'm coming for you, season 20. Hi everybody, it's Keandra. It's my first year here and the season is finally coming to an end and we've learned a lot of lessons and we learned a lot of great things and hopefully that we have a lot of more requirements next year just so we all can be better as a whole and hopefully that we get a lot of new freshmen that are willing to learn a lot so we can update our team more and just give more spirit and more energy because that's what it's all about. Hi, my name is Jacuria Warren and I am a freshman. Since this is my first year cheering, it's been an amazing experience. Like all of those seniors, I learned something from each and every person from the team. Everybody has their, you know, different ways of showing that they're great cheerleaders. And I'm glad I learned from everyone and I wouldn't trade this experience for anything else in the world. Okay, so this season went really, really well. I'm really, really proud of the rookies. Like we had some strong rookies this year. They came in. You know, and they really like executed a lot. They kept their grades up. So I'm super proud of them. And yeah, go last game. Well, I feel like this season was, it was good. I feel like everybody progressed. And I feel like myself, I became a better cheerleader. Considering that I never cheered before. 
And I feel like I've gotten better with my motions and things like that. And I feel like this was a good season, like great captains. We had a great leadership team. And everybody just was, it was a good season for me. Advice for anybody trying out, I just say, um, just work hard and make sure you have your skills. Like, yeah, just come in, like, when, if you're trying out, just come in, like, ready to work Don't get complacent if you make it. Uh, when you get here in your tryouts, um, don't be afraid to ask questions. Step to the front. If you have what it takes, let the world know. Okay, have confidence. Um, because when you get here, it's, you have to work your way to the top. Like you have to make a name for yourself. So it's all about you know just being who you are and staying true to what you do. And don't don't conform to anybody. Don't you know try to listen to anybody else. Just Go your way. Be taught, like be teachable, and just enjoy being a child. Because time goes by like that. My advice for anyone that's trying out is to be prepared. Coach tells us a lot, you know, whatever you're trying out for, like try to match that style. That's very important for whoever you're trying out for. Don't wait till the last minute for your skills. And if you do make it, don't be complacent. Like, keep the energy going. Like, nobody wants to see somebody who's always upset about having to do something. So, my advice would just be be confident, stay true to yourself, like he said. Don't be complacent. And work, work, work your skills. You gotta have them, work on them. And to the ones that are returning, you, you are. No, but for real, seriously, you gotta step up. But seriously, mm -hmm. I love y'all. I love you. I miss you all. I'm still not gonna cry. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs>
the real stuff. Oh, that's good. Oh, Marnisha, you got it. 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 Marnisha, you got it.